Brother and sister? That's right. Ann Sullivan. Is that your name, Missy? It stinks in here. Yes, I know that, Missy. I'm asking if Ann Sullivan is your real name. My brother's sick. How will he get better in this stinking hole? Can you tell me that? James and Ann Sullivan are their names. Both parents Irish. Mother's dead, father's missing. The boy is lame, she's almost blind. It says here they have an aunt and an uncle. Why aren't they with them? They don't want them. The conditions of teacher's life at the almshouse were almost beyond description. Every rejected form of humankind, it seemed, had been deposited there. Day after day, she walked among the mentally and physically afflicted. Night after night, she slept with children who were sick or near dying. Death and disease were constant companions. Within three months of their arriving, Jimmy passed away from tuberculosis. Time stood dead still in the almshouse. It was almost as if time were part of the bricks and mortar in the walls which held teacher captive. I could hear you thinking. You're a silly girl. You don't know what I'm thinking. I never said I knew what you were thinking. I said I could hear you thinking. My thoughts are pounding away inside of me. No doubt of that. What are they saying? They're telling me how I can leave here. How to leave this place. Then they're lying and you shouldn't listen. No, they're not. True thoughts never lie. I'm going to do what they tell me to do. I'm going to go to school. I'm not going to be ignorant anymore. See then, they're lying because you can't go to school. Can't leave here. They won't let you. Yes, they will. I don't know how they will yet. But they will. Annie? Hmm? What's ignorant? You and me. Teacher's mind had grasped hold of an idea. The idea of school. This would be the tool she could use to shed herself of ignorance. And that shedding herself of ignorance would make her free. Yes? My name is Sanborn. I'm from the State Board of Charities. Here for inspection. Is that right? That's right. You've made a trip for nothing. As I'm sure you'll see. I don't think so. What would you like to see? Everything. Yes, well. Follow me then. Did you see him? Go. Hurry! What are you doing all that school up here? What? All right. Leave her alone. Let go. 
Nothing will happen to you. Just let go. Will you let me talk to you? Mr. Sanborn, my name's Anne Sullivan, and I want to go to school. Please, Mr. Sanborn, please help me. I want to go to school. You can barely see. You'll have to excuse us a few minutes. Anne went to school. In just six years, having had no other formal education, she graduated valedictorian of her class from the Perkins Institute for the Blind. Her desire to assault the effects of blindness and deafness were born at the Institute. 